As I began my review, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement. Agatha Christie was one of the greatest mystery writers of all time, and And Then There Were None was one of her most beloved works. It was a story that had captivated readers for decades, and I was eager to share my thoughts on it with my audience. The story begins with ten strangers who are invited to a remote island off the coast of England. Each of them has been lured there under false pretenses, and they soon discover that they are trapped on the island with no way to escape. As the days pass, they begin to realize that someone is picking them off one by one, and they must find a way to identify the killer before it's too late. As I delved deeper into the story, I was struck by Agatha Christie's masterful use of suspense and intrigue. She had crafted a plot that kept readers guessing until the very end, and I found myself constantly on the edge of my seat. The characters were well developed, and each one had their own secrets and motivations that added to the complexity of the story. One of the things that I loved most about and then there were none was the way that Agatha Christie played with the reader's expectations. She introduced red herrings and false leads that kept me guessing until the very end. I was constantly changing my mind about who the killer could be, and when the truth was finally revealed, it was a satisfying and unexpected twist. As I wrapped up my review, I couldn't help but feel grateful for the opportunity to share my thoughts on such a timeless classic. And Then There Were None was a book that had stood the test of time, and it was a testament to Agatha Christie's incredible talent as a writer. I hope that my audience had enjoyed my review and that it had inspired them to pick up the book for themselves. After all, there was no greater pleasure than the joy of discovering a great story.